Maureen is the worst movie sister slash villain ever because she didn't just steal her little sister's boyfriend. Oh no, she stole her little sister's first love, leaving her devastated and heartbroken. Subscribe to my channel, Bianca Melrose. The Man in the Moon stars a young Reese Witherspoon in her first ever film role as the precocious Danny, a 14-year-old coming of age in 1950s Louisiana. The movie is set in the summertime. Danny's mother is pregnant and her father works around the area. Danny is super close with her beautiful older sister, Maureen, who is 17 and leaving for college in the fall. Now the movie really starts when Danny meets a cute guy named Court while out skinny dipping. She thinks that she's the only one there and is annoyed and embarrassed when she sees him there too. They end up in a little argument and Court kicks her out of the creek or lake or whatever it is that they're swimming in because it turns out that that creek that they're swimming in is property of his family's. Later on in the movie, Danny's pregnant mother announces that her childhood friend is coming over for dinner. When her mother's friend arrives, she brings along her son with her, who just so happens to be Court from Skinny Dipping. Danny is all annoyed with him, and he's all annoyed with her, but very quickly they put their initial meeting behind them and start to really get along well. It is clear that there is an attraction between the two. Danny and Court start hanging out more often, meeting up for late night swims and stuff, and are essentially dating one another at this point. Danny starts asking Maureen for boy advice. Throughout this part of the movie, it's clear that Court really likes Danny, but something keeps him from letting himself really fall for her, and he often tells her that she is, quote, just a little girl. Like, he feels like She's too young to be in a relationship with him, but nonetheless, he keeps on dating her and acting like he likes her and wants to be involved with her. This behavior is obviously very confusing to Danny. Later on, Danny and Court share a passionate kiss, which solidifies Danny's love for Court, but does not seem to solidify his feelings for her. Eventually, Danny's father figures out that she is dating Court and tells her to invite him over for dinner so that he can get to know Court better. This is where everything goes to hell, not because the father disapproves or anything, but because of Danny's older sister, Maureen. Court is immediately attracted to Maureen, who seems so much more mature, even though she's only 17 like him. They start to see each other behind Danny's back, but not really because Danny isn't an idiot and is aware of her sister's love affair with her boyfriend. Court pushes Danny further and further away and eventually proclaims his love for Maureen and in the ultimate betrayal, Maureen and Court end up having sex in a field. Danny pretty much has everything figured out and starts to ignore Maureen, who she is rightfully angry with. Then, in a shocking and tragic turn of events, Court is killed in a tractor accident while plowing the fields on his family's property. Even after Court dies, Danny refuses to speak with Maureen. She is now heartbroken and mourning at the same time. But the girl's father, who seems to know everything that has happened between his daughters and Court, tells Danny that although she has a right to be hurt by Maureen in Court's actions, being Matt won't bring Court back and Maureen will be her sister for the rest of their lives. As the summer draws to an end, Danny finds it within herself to forgive Maureen for doing her dead ass wrong. So this movie is obviously a romantic drama turned tragedy, and it was a really interesting look at both complex romantic relationships and complex family relationships. Everyone can relate to having their trust betrayed by a significant other, friend, or family member. In The Man in the Moon, Maureen knew that by pursuing a relationship with her little sister's boyfriend that it would leave Danny heartbroken, but Maureen was too selfish to care, making her the worst movie sister ever. Also, I never thought that Court fully really cared about Danny because he was too busy dwelling on the fact that she was only 14, yet had no problem dating or making out with her. <laughs> I thought that was weird AF, but whatever. Also, Court obviously didn't care about Danny because he went after her sister. So, was Maureen wrong for dating her sister's boyfriend, or was she simply following where her heart led her? If Court had lived, what would have happened with this love triangle? Would Danny have ever gotten over court and moved on and accepted his relationship with Maureen? What are some other great chick flicks about love triangles gone wrong that you love? Drop them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.